Hi, I'm Mo, and I'm from generosity.org, and I'm here today with Ethan Blades from ActionAids, who's just gonna tell us a little bit about the organization and what they're doing to um, make an impact here in Philly. Hi. So, hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Um, great, thanks for being here today. Of course. Um, so can you tell us uh, a little bit about ActionAids and just cut a little bit of history yep. around it? So ActionAids is one of Pennsylvania's largest aid service organizations. Mm -hmm. um, we started in 1986 by a group of volunteers who saw um, AIDS in sort of its most devastating time period. They sort of saw people in the city um, suffering from the disease and um, also facing a lot of stigma. So they sort of came together to provide end of life and emotional support, care for people living with HIV, um, and since then, we've grown to, um, to be one of the largest aid service organizations. Um, we have five offices um, conveniently located in and around Philadelphia. Um, and we serve uh, just under 3,000 clients uh, every year, uh, focusing on everything from medical case management, which is our largest program, to supportive housing services, emotional support, referrals to mental and behavioral health, um, food bank referrals, uh, vocational services, um, and more. Okay, well, great. So, um, so you've been there a couple of years, and Action Aids is like a leader, kind of in this uh, realm of kind of like LGBTQ issues in the Philadelphia area, mm -hmm. um, which is part of like a bigger social justice movement. So, um, do you see do you, uh, what kind of like collaborations and like how, what did you see as your part in this bigger picture of making hmm. Philadelphia a better place. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so like I said, ActionAid s started um, supporting those living with HIV. But our drive is not only to support people living with HIV, it's also to educate and prevent future infections. Okay. So when we think about ourselves, we think of ourselves as a place that connects people to other people and people to resources and places. So mm -hmm. a lot of times what a case manager does with a client is after they're identified as HIV positive, maybe through one of our um, certified testing counselors, um, we connect them to, to our case management services and then later on maybe to doctors, nurses, um, specialists, mental health services. We know that people living with HIV are not only living with HIV. A lot of times there are other psychosocial issues that are coming into play. Um, so we're trying to make the citizens of Philadelphia healthier, both mm -hmm. by helping them to live longer with the virus if they're positive, but also helping others to not contract the virus, and also hoping that our clients, we can educate them to prevent the transmission to their loved ones um, and other people in Philadelphia. So when we think about our role in it all, we sort of think about making Philadelphia a healthier place, um, whether that's healthier and happier or mm -hmm. you know, healthier in general. Cool. You have uh, some stuff going on in January. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, we are excited to partner with um, the Health Annex, which is a group of federally qualified health centers um, in Philadelphia. Uh, we're partnering with them to open our first ever primary care clinic inside one of our offices. Okay. Uh, we have an office that in West Philadelphia that will house a uh, one day a week um, primary care clinic, which will have complementary behavioral health services. Um, and this is a very new thing for us. So we've yeah, it seems like a huge step. Yes, so it's, it's a big deal for us. Um, we look at it as a way to serve some of our population that might have a harder time getting to medical appointments, either because of transportation issues, um, because of lack of trust in the medical system, um, because of undocumented citizenship. Um, so, so in this clinic, you will never be turned away for lack of insurance. Um, uh, we'll, we hope to serve the most disenfranchised of our population. So people mm -hmm. that might not otherwise get to the doctor, we hope that they'll be able to come and drop in and feel comfortable in our offices. Um, we hope that makes a real difference for some people in Philadelphia. So it seems like Action Aids has so many different services. How can people get involved and like stay up to date with what you guys are doing? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. Um, so uh, anyone is welcome to head to www.actionaids.org, um, or we also have a very active social media presence. So you can follow us on Facebook, it's Action Aids, Instagram. Uh, Twitter. Um, 
we, we take great care to try to update the community in what sort of events we are participating in so that they can get involved if they'd like to. Um, in addition, um, we have a wonderful volunteer program and one of the few remaining buddy programs left in the United States. Um, buddy programs were started at the height of the AIDS epidemic to link volunteers with um, people living with HIV to try to provide some emotional support for them. Mm -hmm. A lot of people living with HIV had families that were fearful of catching the disease or friends that may have sort of moved away and we have volunteers that sort of stepped in to fill the gap and to provide support, whether it's talking on the phone, visiting, going to the movies. Um, so we have one of the few remaining buddy programs and we actually um, loan out our volunteers to other aid service organizations that identify clients in need. Um, so if people are interested in taking on um, something like that, uh, you can head to our website and fill out a volunteer application um, and then you'll be invited to one of the next volunteer orientation sessions. Um, okay. Or if you don't have time to volunteer but you feel like you can make a financial contribution, we are always in need of dollars um, to mm -hmm. support our programs. Okay, great, thanks. Um, that Those are kind of really interesting volunteer opportunities where you can like get plugged in at a very kind of like intimate level yeah. and be able to like create like a lasting relationship. And I love that you're collaborating with other organizations yes. and um, making those services kind of, or those, th those people available to help kind of like uh, address like bigger issues and address like other facets of what you guys are doing. Yeah, our so. volunteers are at the heart of our organization. You know, we were founded by volunteers and they'll always be, you know, the heart or the backbone of what ActionAids does and how we operate. Cool. Well, thank you so much for yeah, coming you. in today. We appreciate it. And um, we'll definitely be sharing more information about what you guys are doing and all of those different ways to get involved. Well, so. thank you for the opportunity. Great, thanks. Thank you.